What's going on, everybody? How's everyone doing on um, May 13th? It's Mother's Day. So not only to my mom, my stepmom, happy Mother's Day to you two, um, but also happy Mother's Day to all those uh, uh, well-deserved uh, moms out there. Hope everyone's having a great day. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, I'm here at my house. Just got back from my mom's house. I'm uh, going to get ready to head out to drum right for our last week of school, man, this week. Uh, before I recap last week, this week upcoming, we have, uh, m you know, Monday our road test, Oklahoma City, or a road drive. It's about a, an, uh, 100 miles there. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday is our night driving experience. Uh, Thursday, we are going to clean the trucks and um, probably just, you know, maybe do some of their testings. We have three tests left for the school. We have our final uh, road test, which is about 15 miles, about both ways, I think. Uh, we have our um, 90 degree back test and our offset parking uh, test. So those are the three we have. Um, uh, let's see, Friday then we're going to get our uh, Central Tech TDT uh, diploma. So last week of school, man, it's going to be an easy week. Um, I'm going to take you guys with me real quick. Um, you know, let's see, let's start off on the recap. So Monday... We worked uh, on the trucks. We actually had to, um, we just drove. We just get more experience driving. Um, worked on things such as um, our, you know, backing maneuvers, our shifting. Sorry, I had to go to my car real quick. Um, and then Tuesday, uh, we actually took our first trip, um, and we did, um, we actually did the CDL route. The reason we did the CDL route is because it was just a test for them. I got a 95 for it uh, with the instructor there. Shifting was good. Everything was pretty much good. Only lost five points here on minor stuff. Um, so, besides that, though, it's been a... Uh, it's been a good week. Let's see. Uh, that was Tuesday. Wednesday was our CDL test. And if I can show you, bam. So, got my CDL. Now I'm uh, ready to do some over-the-road driving, you know. Uh, so far, the, 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 that was Wednesday. Was That was an all-day thing. Um, I was last to go, so I, I started at about 1.00. And got done around 2.15, um, You know, it, it wasn't bad. Let's see, for the for the test, everyone has to do a pre-trip. You're either going to do the front of the tra uh, tractor, which is the front bumper to the windshield. You're going to do, f the second part is from the uh, mirrors to the back of the tractor. Or you're going to do the trailer. Um, everybody has to do the coupling and uncoupling systems, you know, which include, the, you know, the fifth wheel. Um, you want to make sure that you're, you're doing your electrical line and your air lines uh, from the tractor to the trailer. And then everyone has to do an in-cab inspection, obviously inside of the track, uh, truck. And then you have to do the um, air brakes. So I actually, out of my pre-trip, I had um, 45 out of 47. The only thing I did not tell them was that there was no gap from the fifth wheel to the apron and that the kingpin was straight. I, I said that the fifth wheel locking jaws were around the shank of the kingpin. I just didn't tell them that the kingpin was was straight, wasn't bent, uh, cracked, damaged, whatever. So I missed two points on that. Everything else I did smooth. You know, I listed everything from the header board of the trailer to the clearance lights to the cross members under the trailer to uh, the condition of the axle to the uh, spring leaves to the spring hangers to the u-bolts to the slack adjusters to the canisters to the pads to the tires the icd inflation condition depth uh to the you know wheels uh, rims making sure that there's no uh rust around the lug nuts show signs of looseness uh no non-manufactured welds uh you know for the brakes you know like on the canisters uh trailer is type 30 which is uh, one inch of play on the slack adjuster is good, but no more than two inches. On a Type 20, it's one inch of play is okay. No more than one and three quarters. So stuff like that. But I, I knocked it out. Uh, I was happy with those results. Uh, then I had my driving. Uh, I started right off with the driving on the blindside parallel. 
I did really good on that, man. It's not, it's really not that bad if you guys are, you know, you think parallel parking is a bad thing, but I mean, you're most likely you're never going to do it in a truck anyways, but uh, that's just one of the back maneuvers they require you to do now. So, uh, I had three pull-ups and uh, one boundary violation. I was pulling up close to the front so I can fix my trailer. Uh, the front of the trailer was a little bit out. I needed to just correct it with a little bit of, uh, you know, just a little, just maybe like a, a half a turn on the steering wheel. I need about eight feet. So, you know, when trying to pull up, I was looking at the cone and, and the middle cone I, I nicked. So I got two points off for that. Um, on the offset back, I, I did two pull-ups. My second pull-up was just so I could straight back it up. Uh, I actually had it all in the lane, but I just didn't want to get any more boundary violations. You only get 12 points, so I think I had three after my parallel. Um, I just didn't want to risk it. I don't know. And then my straight back got zero points. It's, you know, you're just back in straight. So my road test, I did good. I had a 79 out of 100. Uh, everyone who knows their score got around a 79, 78. Because uh, they take off for little things. I mean, I palmed the steering wheel once. You know, you can't do that. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I shifted through an intersection, which the, even the DPS officer said was a, a personal preference. But for them, you can't. So... You know, I didn't feel like taking second gear all the way around a turn. I feel like that's impeding traffic. I don't feel like, you know, so, uh, you know, that that was that. That was Wednesday. Um, eight out of 12 people got their CDL. The other four, two missed the pre-trip and two missed the driving. One guy missed the pre-trip because he kept saying everything looks good. I mean, come on, man. You know, you got to tell them why everything looks good. You know, you could say, hey, you know, the, the water pump looks good. Um... Uh, but it's gear driven. There's no missing nuts or bolts. There's no leaks. You know, I mean, things like that. It's 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 secured. Um, it's in place. I mean, you know, just don't say oh, it looks good. I mean, what is that going to get you? So, but he's going to get it the next time around. He's just so used to saying that because he knows what he's looking for. Um, another guy messed up on the pre-trip because he did the rear tractor wheel. He should have done the trailer wheel because he had the trailer. Um, he had form C. Um, but both of those guys passed the driving, they just didn't pass their pre-trip, so all they have to do Wednesday, this upcoming Wednesday, is pass their pre-trip, and then they have their license. Um, on the driving, the two guys who failed the driving, one guy failed the driving because he couldn't get the parallel in. Um, he's going to get it, though. He was whipping it in before this test without a problem. Um, you know, I, it was just bad luck. He was just maybe nervous or something, so he's got to retake all the backings and the drive. He didn't actually, the guy who didn't get the parallel done, he didn't even get to go out on the drive, so that's probably going to still be a little nerve-wracking for him. Um, and then the other guy who failed the drive, he was 200 feet away from uh, being parked in the school with a CDL, and he shifted and turned the blinker off at the same time. So, so he had no hands on the steering wheel. Automatic failure, so 200 feet away. So, you know, don't do that. Uh, Wait until that trailer is in your lane before you turn off the blinker and keep your hand off the shifter and put it on the steering wheel. Um, but he's going to get it on his next turn, too. Other than that, you know, uh, Thursday we uh, did the road trip for the school. Like I said, I got a 95 on that. Uh, I think I said it, but yeah, I got a 95 on the road trip with the instructor. Uh, missed five points, just miscellaneous stuff. Uh, then Thursday afternoon we... Uh, uncoupled the uh, unloaded trailers and we went and coupled up the loaded trailers because we were taking our road trip to Big Cabin which is about 140 miles one way um, and we need to go loaded so we did that they have their own gas pumps there so we filled up with gas checked all the tire pressures uh, and that was for Thursday Friday we took our Big Cabin road trip it was about three hours one way 140 miles or so uh, through a couple little cities and uh, you know, that was a great trip. I didn't have an instructor. I actually had the guy who missed the rear trailer wheel. Um, I was actually with him, so I had my CDL. He didn't. So they must trust me somewhat. So I must be doing something right. Um, my brother's having a little bit of problems still shifting. He's, I know he's going to get it. It's just he's just got to register it and uh, just keep looking at the tag. But he actually had an instructor, uh, which I could see could be real nervous. He said he drove the worst. And, you know, I, I believe if I had an instructor for three hours... You know, always looking to make sure I'm doing stuff right. You know, I'm sure you're going to mess up here and there. So, uh, you know, this upcoming week, man, we just we got our night drive in and our uh, final 90-degree uh, backing and, and offsets for the school, and that's about it. We get our diplomas and, 
you know, I've been accepted to Warner, um, U.S. Express, Crete, um, I believe Snyder, but I still have to, I have to contact them just to make sure. Uh, I think the position they were looking for, which was local, it, it, you know, it pays real good. I think 900 weekly or around there, um, uh, just starting, but I think that position's filled. So I got to call them, see what's going on. I, I don't know. Um. Uh, It'd be nice to stay local, but over that the over the road experience is going to be great too. So um, after next week, you know, if, if you checked out my brother's vlogs, um, him and my um, my mom are going going to Mexico. Check out his uh, video out at Mo's Mojo seventy eight. You can see why they're going to Mexico. Uh, so I'm gonna have a week to watch the puppies. Uh, got the jacuzzi over at my mom's house. Gonna spend some time in there, have a couple beers, relax. Uh, call all these companies I've been accepted to and, uh, you know, make my decision on, on where I want to go so the week after Memorial Week I can uh, I can get to orientation and that'll be good. I'll be able to show you guys the truck when I get in my truck. I'm probably probably about uh, five to six or six to eight weeks away from having my own truck being on my own for good. So I'm excited for that. Uh, I still got to apply for Conway Truck. Uh, thanks to one of the comments that check into that. They pay good. They care about you. Uh, Conway Freight was there, and they just do too much dock work. So, I, you know, I, I got my CDL to drive, not to work in a warehouse and load in trucks. If otherwise, I wouldn't spend a month trying to get my CDL. So, um, that that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy. Keep subbing, keep uh, commenting. Um, it's gonna get more interesting. I'll, I'll definitely see if, what I'll, I'll definitely try to vlog during orientation. I'll t try to vlog while I. Uh, you know, while well, I'm driving with a member of whichever company I decide to go for, if he allows it, uh, we'll see what he feels about that. Um, you know, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm trying to give you as much input next week's video. I'll, I'll do a brief summary of that week because I already told you this week what we're doing. And I'll give you a final overall for the school. I think from 9.5, it's about 9.2 because they got to get rid of truck 55. It's terrible. Um, I actually got accepted one more time, by the way, to TMC. But they need five years of my W-2s because uh, my last company, the Hartford, which is rapidly going downhill, it, uh, they, you know, they, they outsource their um, work verification to a third party. So now anyone who wants to verify if you've worked there have to pay $20 to get the information. So, you know, good job, Hartford. Thanks for nothing. Um, you know, I I'm glad I'm out of there. I'm glad I'm working here. I'm excited. I'm going to keep you guys up to date as much as possible. Uh, look for a vlog next Sunday. Um... I'll let you know next Sunday who I'm going with. Uh, I'll also let you know, um, you know, what I found out about these companies. I'm gonna write it all down. I'll let you all know. I'll give you guys a little bit of insight. Uh, maybe you guys can comment on what's true or not if you're if you're already driving a truck or what the deal is with that. So, uh, hope you all had a good weekend. Hope you all have a good upcoming week. Uh, you know, and I'll see you on the flip side, guys. Peace.